Thank you very much for the invitation today. What I'd like to do is to basically give you an update on my gnosis, but for those of you who are not familiar with what Zepto is, it's an automated capsulotomy device. As you can see here, the device does something very unusual as well, is a line on the visual axis of the patient to get 360 degree coverage of the capsulotomy around the IOL, significantly important. But as you can see here, many of them are capsulotomies done by hand, but they follow the iris. And if they had done this in this particular case, you can see how far that capsulotomy would have been off. It's got a very quick learning curve and it's very easy to get into the practice. But it's more than just a capsulotomy device. It's a capsulotomy device that converts the visual axis into an anchor for centering the IOL. It gives us very strong capsulotomies, two to four times stronger than either CCC or Femto. And it has some other benefits in that when we release the suction cup, we perform a 360 degree hydro dissection. And at the end of the day, what you get is 360 degree coverage of the IOL, but it does many more things such as eliminates the need for iris hooks or Malugan rings. This device will slip right underneath the iris. For very high pressure cataracts that most physicians are very fearful of, this creates a 5.2 millimeter opening in four milliseconds. Think about that, four milliseconds. It takes 400 milliseconds to blink your eye. Four allows all that pressure to be released immediately. It's a very, very consistent tool. To give you an update on what Minosis has done over the past three years is that we got a CE mark early on. We had FDA clearance late last year. We started to expand the market. Now we're into over 26 countries. This is used on very complex cases because it makes it easy. It's easier hydro dissection, visual axis centration, and oh, by the way, we saw something else called PCO mitigation. Now you're saying to yourselves, why with a capsulotomy device would that stop PCO? I'm gonna show you something here a little bit later on, but these are some of the countries that we are in throughout the, the world. But when, about six, seven months ago, a physician asked me, he said, John, what does your capsulotomy look like a year and a half out? We know with CCC, we see some fibrosis, we see some shrinking of the capsulotomy, and truthfully, I didn't know. So I sent my CMO, Dr. Kevin Waltz, down to look at the patients that he did a year and a half ago, and I said, Kevin, bring in four of these patients. He did, and he called me, he had this kind of a different sound on his voice. And of course, when that happens, you start to think the worst. And he says, John, I pulled those four patients in, and there was no fibrosis. The lens didn't move, but more extraordinarily, there wasn't any PCO on these four patients. Now, he says, I've been doing patients down there for 20 years. And it's very common for me to see in 80% of the patients to have PCO. So I said, Kevin, I've been fooled before. Bring in all 32 and also bring in another 21 or so patients that were done with CCC at that same time. And let's look at them. But I also needed to understand what is the PCO rate here in the US? I hear all kinds of different comments about it. So I had Navigant go back and look at one of the largest databases that we can look at and get good data, and that is CMS database. And what did it show me? There's a significant issue with PCO, much more than we really want to admit. And as you know, if you talk with many ophthalmologists for premium lenses, 
the incidence is much higher. Now, is that because of design? I don't think so. It's because the rate is much higher. But what happened to those patients that we pulled in and looked at, those two arms, we saw a significant difference. Not a small, not a medium, but significant. Now, what does this mean? Many countries throughout the world don't have YAGs. So what happens to these patients? This is the patient that we pulled in out of the 22. You can see that there is normal anterior fibrosis. There is also PCO in these patients. Here is Zepto. Edge did not contract. We didn't see any kind of issues, anterior fibrosis, and no PCO. And then we have one last thing. We have worked very hard in the company to do something that we feel is going to be extraordinarily beneficial to not only patients' cataract procedure, but for physicians. And that is a Category 3 code that we fully expect the physicians will be able to charge the patients for all cataract procedures and take advantage of the full 360 degree coverage of the IOL. More to come on this particular aspect in the next four weeks. Thank you.